Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's German, American, Asian, whatever it is guys. If you have a car that cranks slow, we will explain the top three reasons that can cause that and how to find out what's wrong with your vehicle guys. Before we start, let me introduce you to our channel. If you guys need to buy any parts or tools for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get the tools and parts from for a really good price, quick shipping as well. Number two guys, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos provided to you guys why we do that simply because our mission at the garage is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video now all that being said let's explain guys the number one reason uh, okay and uh, one that is not so obvious okay for uh, a car actually to crank slow we will list three reasons guys one of them is very common uh, for instance we have that Porsche Cayenne okay right here what happens, I turn the key, sometimes it doesn't even want to crank, it's like woo, and then it stops. Then I turn it again, it goes like woo, and then it starts. Second, third time sometimes, it takes forever, and uh, it's frustrating. Why? Because you think that sometimes your car will not start, and you will, you will just be not able to drive it. So that's, uh, that's really stressing, guys. And uh, what can cause that now? Number one, check your car battery. Now, uh, when you test your car battery guys, okay, you need to use a car battery tester, okay, I will explain why, uh, because if you just check the voltage of the battery, you may have 12.67 volts, the battery may look perfectly fine, but you can get a simple, really simple battery test like that, which is not expensive at all, when you test the battery, it uh, does the cranking test and charging test, and that tester guys will tell you if your battery is good it's going to test it when the car cranks and all that stuff so you know if it's a good strong battery otherwise you may think you have a good battery but it's actually a weak battery because you may not have the amperage in the battery to uh, engage the starter with full power so that's quite common guys okay most people just check the voltage don't you have to analyze your battery and do uh, do a test to see if it's good which is pretty simple and i'll put the link to that too in the description of the video below number two guys uh, now you will have your engine starter we have ours removed and i'll talk about that in a second but the engine starter you need to find where it's located and you don't even need to remove it now check it out what i recommend do a battery voltage drop test on the starter cable you need to check okay go on the battery on your car, car battery on the terminals negative and positive check the voltage of the battery let's say it's 12.5 volts then what you want to do you need to test that cable if it brings 12.5 volts to the starter and you don't need to disconnect the starter to do that you just need to get to the starter get one of the LEDs okay for the voltage tester on ground somewhere on the car ground and the positive on that cable and if you get the same reading as the one from the battery it means that your starter cable is good sometimes a bad starter cable will cause that okay uh, if you have a bad uh, starter cable the voltage will be different let's say the battery is at 12.5 volts but actually that cable brings only 12 volts uh, that means that it's not working correctly and as a result okay you're going to guys get a starter that cranks slow that's very very common on older vehicles number three guys starter that is bad and what goes bad in those things we have a special video that explains but usually brushes uh, or the grease get burns actually guys uh, that grease when it gets burned it turns into jelly the starter will not move easily and as a result it will take a long time to uh, to actually engage also the brushes will get really hot they will bind together with the roller here and uh, it needs to be clean like that nice and pink but if it's like that it may be uh, shorting things out a little bit and as a result that will guys uh, make your starter to get hot and turn slow as well so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching and see you guys next time